Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to give you an overview of how to use the LSP Portrait Studio and Portrait presets in Lightroom. I am using Lightroom Classic CC. Um, this is very similar to Lightroom CS4 through to CS6. Um, you can do the same techniques if you're using Lightroom CC, the newer version, Lightroom Mobile um, and also ACR. But please bear in mind you can't use the brushes unless you're in Classic or CS6. You do have this on your Creative Cloud subscription. That is not this version of Lightroom for brushes. You want to use this version of Lightroom for brushes. But if you just want to use the presets, then do feel free to use ACR, Lightroom CC or Lightroom Mobile. That's absolutely fine. For information about how to install the presets into Lightroom, um, how to open them up and how to get started with them, please do watch the videos before this one on the LSP Actions YouTube channel or website. Okay, so I'm going to be editing this image here. This image is raw. Um, this is an F file. I've just made a copy of it a couple of times so I can go back and show you the original. Um, you can see here nothing has been altered so far aside from a crop. So I've just cropped in, so I'd recommend starting with a crop. Uh, the second step when editing in Lightroom is to set to your white balance. Um, I can simply grey card off this background here because I know this is grey. Uh, whether you grey card, whether you set the white balance in camera or whether you set the white balance custom here is entirely up to you, but I'd recommend getting that white balance first because that's really going to help you with your edit. So let's get started. I've opened up the presets here. The LSP set is here. You will notice there are different sections. You have a base section, a light section, tweaks, warmth, tones, contrast and finish. Each section works independently so you can build your image up and reset and change each section which is really cool when using presets. You can hover over a preset to see the effect on your image if you're using newer versions of Lightroom which is really cool and you can simply click to choose the preset you wish to apply. So I'm going to come up onto the base section here and hover over until I find a base that I prefer for my image. I'm going to use the LSP main base here. This is a really nice clean base. You can also come in on the sliders and you can alter and change as much as you want as well. But I'm going to leave that exactly how it is for now. The lights, I've already chosen this one. The tweak section, again I'm going to hover and see if I need to do any of these for my image. I may darken the shadows and lift the highlights. It's really just pick and choose, mix and match if you want to use any of the sections. For example, I don't think I'm going to use any of these for this image. Tones, I don't think I need to use any of those, but if you need to reduce the yellows or the reds, boost the colour, desaturate for example. That's your section there. Contrast, if you need to add a little more contrast or perhaps take some away, this is a good section for you. And for example, if I say added a preset here like deeper contrast boost and I don't like it, you can just reset that one section and it won't change any of the other edits you've done so far. And there's a finishing section here. I can reduce the noise, uh, sharpen up add a vignette, around the edge, or again reset. So once you are happy with the edit you can come into your develop panel here um, or the sliders section if you're using CC, mobile or ACR and change anything else there if you want to. Now I'm going to show you how you can really tailor your edit using the brush section included with your download. So I'm going to zoom in a little on the face here. If you're using ACR, Lightroom CC or Lightroom Mobile, you will not be able to load the custom brushes in. So you'll need to come down and open Lightroom Classic if you're using Creative Cloud. If you're not using Creative Cloud, um, then you will be able to use the brushes on Lightroom CS4, CS5 and CS6. It's only kind of the really brand new, kind of more limited versions of Lightroom where you cannot install a custom brush. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here You'll notice um, here, if you do not have this panel, you just need to click this little arrow and bring it out. And you will notice you have some icons up here. 
you need to click the adjustment brush icon and this will bring you up a brush panel first thing to do is come down here a little bit and change the flow down to about 50 percent this is really important when using the LSP brushes it allows you to build them up and not just have a really kind of over the top um, effect on your image and I'll show you why in just a moment so I'm going to change that to 50% um, size wise you can scroll up or scroll down you can also use the bracket keys to make it larger or smaller or you can change the size here feathering I like to keep it around 70 to 80% on a feather density if you've changed the flow down you can leave the density at 100 I wouldn't tick auto mask but it's up to you if you want to use Lightroom's technology to kind of um, automatically mask certain areas of your image. So first of all click new and then here where it says effect you may have it set to something like exposure for example you can come down here again if you're unsure of how to load brushes into Lightroom please do watch the LSP tutorial videos where I walk you through exactly how to load the brushes in these brushes with this set are called LSP Studio and they will appear on your brush panel. There are 15 brushes to choose from. You have Brighten, Darken, uh, Rescue Whites if there's an area that's a little bit blown out, Rescue Blacks, 3D Contour, Contrast Boost, Warm Up, Cool Down, Skin Smooth and Soften, Sharpen the Details, Eyes, Lash and Brows, uh, Irish Dazzle, Reduce the Reds, Reduce the Yellows, Reduce the Purples and the Fine Art Brush. So I'm going to start at the top with Brighten and Lift scrolling up a little just to make this brush a little bigger and I'm just going to bring this over the face because I'm using a low flow it came out very gently and I can always come back over and repeat till I'm happy and then I'm going to click new and this will allow me to create a new brush again click on the drop down and decide which brush you'd like to use I'm going to try the 3D contour I'm just going to wash this over the areas where there's a little shadow just to add some depth and you. I'm now going to use the Reduce the Reds brush which is here just to take some of this redness out of the skin. We also have Reduce Yellows and Reduce Purples. As with the presets you can also change uh, these sliders a little bit as well to tweak the brushes to your image if you want to but they are very intuitive you may not have to do that at all the options there if you want to. So I'm just taking some of those reds out of the skin. I'm going to zoom in even closer to the face now and work on the eyes and the skin. So I'm going to click new. Always click new between brushes or you'll just alter the brush you've already put on there. And I'm going to come down to the eyes, lash and brow brush. brush. <laughs> Try saying that fast. And I'm going to bring this over the brows over the lashes. As humans it's our natural nature to be drawn to the eyes first so it's really important in a portrait that the eyes are looking good and popping out. You can also run this over lips, I always tend to do this and run it over the top of the lips here just to bring attention into that face even more. New and then I'm going to go soften the skin a little using the Skin Smooth and Soften brush And I'm just going to bring this over a little bit. Using custom brushes in Lightroom is great. Especially if you don't use any other programs like Photoshop to do your editing. But sometimes if, if the edit's quite quick, if it's quite easy, then using Lightroom can be even faster than using Photoshop. Okay, so I'll just soften that skin down. New. I'm going to come back to the uh, the contour brush again and I'm just going to wash this over the face a little more new always click new in between <laughs> so iris dazzle just scroll down to shrink my brush nice and small so I can really get in here and brighten up that iris. The thing about these brushes as well is if you want to kind of um, increase the effect you can either come up here on the sliders or you can click new and do it again. 
If you want to change it, you can have here Show Editing Pins Auto. Hover over, you can reselect any of the brushes and you will see they change to the brush you used and you can go back and change them, it's actually really quite cool. So now I'm going to zoom out. I've clicked off the brush now so I'm not on the brush option anymore. And have a think about what else I may want to do with this image in Lightroom. I may come back on the brush and choose the darken and shade brush. Let's make this one nice and big. And I'm just going to darken kind of here, just so we can bring the attention back into that lovely face. New. Now I'm going to use the portrait brush. This creates a really lovely portrait finish. Don't overdo it though, the fine art brush here. And I'm going to use this on the fabric. You can also use this on hair, backgrounds to generally wash over and it gives a real painterly kind of finish to your image. I may wash this over the hair just a little bit as well. Okay, so let's see the before and after. So here's where we started, and here's where we finished. And that's all in Lightroom using the LSP Studio Portrait Set. You can get this at www.lsp-actions.com and please do watch the other Lightroom videos for information on installing and using presets in this version of Lightroom and other versions of Lightroom.